Hello everyone, really interesting challenge today, we need to find the area of this square right here, we know everything about this triangle which is inscribed into this square, we know each of the sides right here, 3, 4, 5, and we need to find the area of this square. You can also write your thoughts, write your assumption down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers, because right here we have a lot of methods, a lot of approaches, so we can also write your own approach into the comment section and we will check our answers in the end of the video, so right now let's start. So first of all let's consider these angles, this one, this one and this one on the top right here and for better understanding let's call this angle as a this one is a this one is angle c and this one is angle b right now i'm going to write a really interesting equation so just look at it Okay, so first of all, let's consider this triangle on the top left side. We know this is angle A, this is angle B, this is a right angle, and basically it doesn't matter what triangle do we have right here, the sum of all of these angles equal to 180. And right now let's find from this triangle, let's find this angle B. So this angle B right here, this is equal to 180, yeah, minus, minus this 90, because this is a right angle, and minus angle A. Okay, this is according to the top left triangle. Right now let's consider the bottom triangle and we will have really interesting moments, so just look at it. And right now let's consider this angle C right here. So our angle C equal to, right here, this angle, this whole angle equal to 180 degrees, and we need to subtract from here our right angle, 90 degrees, and minus angle A, minus angle A. And right now, if you look closely, we have absolutely the same expression on the top side right here and on the bottom. So it means that angle B is equal to angle C. So it means that this triangle right here, so with this angle C, is the similar to this top left triangle, okay? So I hope you understand this step right here. So this triangle on the, on the bottom side is the similar to this top left triangle according to the two equal angles. So right now, let's uh, find our coefficient of a similarity and we will find our area of a square. So let's do this. Okay, so we are talking about a similar triangles right here because angle B equal to angle C. This green triangle on the top left side is the similar to this bottom blue triangle. So right, right now let's find a proportion and let's find a coefficient of a similarity. First of all, let's take this hypotenuse, which is equal to 3. Yeah, so we have 3. We divide this 3 by this hypotenuse of this blue triangle. So over 4, yeah which is equal to, right now let's take this leg, so let's take this leg from this uh, green triangle, so let's call, for example, this side right here as, for example, let's go with A, and let's call this side, for example, as X, because in the same way this is a um, side lens of our square, okay? So right now this is equal to A, this leg right here, so A over, right here we have, we have X, so this, uh, this side from this bottom blue triangle, and right now let's find from this proportion, let's find our A, so from here, our a equal to 3 over 4 times x. Right now let's plug in this 3 over 4 times x instead of this a into this spot. Let's do this. Okay, so this side of this triangle on the top equal to 3 fourths times x. And right now, because this side equal to x, then this side is also equal to x because this is a square. So as a result, this small part right here equal to 1 fourth x. Yeah, if you add all of the things, if you add this part and this part, we have only our x. So as a result, we have a really interesting moment. Right now, let's consider this bottom triangle, bottom blue triangle. Basically, we know everything about this triangle. We know angles, we know right here our mm, first leg, our second leg, our hypotenuse. So right now, let's apply our Pythagorean theorem and we can easily find our x. So let's do this. And the last step right here, let's consider this bottom triangle. You can also consider this top triangle, but you don't know this, mm, this uh, top leg right here. But uh, you know everything about this blue triangle, so let's apply our Pythagorean theorem. So the first length square right here, so we have 1 over 4 times x, we erase this to the second power, plus uh, x square right here, plus x square equal to, we have right here 4 square equal to 16. Oh, let's write it as 4 square. So this is our Pythagorean theorem. Right now, let's write this to the second power. We have right here our 1 over 16, 1 over 16 times x square plus x square equal to, equal to 16. Yeah, really great. Right now, let's add all of the things. Let's find a common denominator right here. So right here we have 16, yeah, 16. And right here we have 17x square, yeah, because this is 16 right here, 16 plus 1 equal to 17, so 17x x square equal to 16, equal to 16. Right now, a basic proportion right here, we can easily find our x square from this, because this is like nothing hard right here. We have our x square equal to, cross multiplying, we have 256 over, we have 16 right here, 
So basically, we find our area because a lot of students confused about this. This is our x square. Some part of students, one part of student takes square root right here. We have our x, but basically this is our x square. This is our area of a square. So we need to find this. We need to find this area. So our answer. Let's write that this is our answer. We find our our area. So our answer to this challenge x square equal to 256 over 16. You can also find the approximate value to this approximately answer. So we have unit, unit square. And this is my approach. Uh, this is a very tricky challenge because a lot of students have their own approach. And of course, you can solve this question by yourself. This is very like, this is my approach. Basically, you can also write your thoughts about your approaches, about really interesting tricks right here. It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you for your support. Thank you for a like. I really appreciate it. If this video is helpful in any way, you can also leave a like, write any comment. It helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make new videos every day. I try to make every video every day. So your support is extremely important for me. If you if you enjoy this video, I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. You can also leave a like and write any comment. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos and take care.